We are here in the southeastern part of the state of Michigan. Uh, hey everyone, Scott, and welcome to Monroe, Michigan. Monroe's been around for quite a long period of time. It dating back into the late 18th century when it was originally founded as Frenchtown. It's also along the banks of the River Raisin. Let's look over that way. Uh, we'll see the river later in the video, but yeah, it's just right over there where Monroe Street crosses between this line and the other one. But yeah, let's go take a walk around downtown and check out some cool historic sites as there's a lot of great history here in Monroe and some different points of interest, so let's go. Monroe is the third oldest community in Michigan, according to the main website for the city of Monroe. It is closer to Toledo, Ohio than it is to Detroit. Nevertheless, Monroe is a great community to visit with many great shops and restaurants in downtown. Another great historical building is the Monroe County Courthouse, which was built in 1880. The county was founded back in 1817 and has recently celebrated its bicentennial. In November 2017, a statue of President James Monroe, the fifth president of the United States, was in constructed in front of the courthouse. Monroe was named after him. Monroe also has some great historical museums, including the Monroe County Historical Museum and the Monroe County Labor History Museum. Take a look at this beautiful structure. This is the Sawyer Homestead. Oh, let me get on this side of the camera. But yeah, this beautiful building was built by Dr. Isaac Sawyer back in 1873. However, what's unique about this house is where it is sitting there used to be another house built before that, built back in 1785, because this area of land was was granted to France to Francois Navarre by the uh, Potawatomi Indian tribe, and this was where he had his home. And Dr. Isaac Sawyer even lived in the house before he tore it down and and built this beautiful house. One fun fact about Francois Navarre is that he was the first white settler here to the general area. Over in this general area, along the northern banks of the River Raisin, which is just a little bit to the south south of us right now on the other side of Elm Street, this is where the historic village of Frenchtown originally was. And this is the site back in during the War of 1812 of the Battle of the River Raisin. On January 1813, um, there were some American soldiers that were sl sleeping for the night over here. And little by surprise, an army of British and Indian soldiers came marching in and launching a surprise attack. And turned to a, to a pretty huge battle to where there are some heavy casualties on both sides. You know, just think, in this general area here. How, unfortunately for the for the American troops, um, they end up losing that battle. And a little fun fact too: they saw a white flag approaching the area. They thought that the British troops were surrendering, but end up being Winchester who was waving the white flag, indicating a surrender, despite the fact that there were some potential reinforcements coming to the area later on. However, uh, later that year, though, the Americans did recapture this just general area. And then a few years later, although I probably said this already in the video, Frenchtown would be renamed to Monroe. And I've even covered a little bit more of this national battlefield 
and a separate video I did a few years ago during the, during the summertime. So yeah, definitely check that out. And over here at the corner of Elm and Monroe, we have a statue of the Civil War Major General George Armstrong Custer. Custer fought in Civil War battles such as the Battle of Bull Run and Gettysburg. He first came to Monroe in 1849 and came back other times later, including to marry Elizabeth Bacon in 1864 during the Civil War. He met her on a previous visit to Monroe. Custer is also famous for his battle against the Lakota Sioux, Cheyenne, and Arapaho tribes in the Battle of the Little Bighorn out in present-day Montana. They were defeated, and Custer was killed during the battle. Dating all the way back since the 19th century, Monroe has been very important with many different industries, especially including the, the paper and paper mill industry. In fact, there have been many paper mills over the years all along the, the River Raisin, within and outside of Monroe. Stay across the street from us, uh, sorry for the sunlight a little bit, but nothing I can do about that. We have the world headquarters for Lazy Boy. Lazy Boy is a furniture company. They have stores all throughout the United States and even areas in the world too. They've been around since the late 1920s and their headquarters is just over there. Back in 1916, August Meyer started Brick Blast, which became the Monroe Auto Equipment Company in 1919. It is famous for its automotive shock absorbers, Monroe Shocks. They merged with Tenneco in 1977. Monroe has plenty of great food options, including the homemade bread and sandwiches at the Erie Bread Company. This place will be covered in my Travel the Lights video. And last but not least, there are many different parks all throughout Monroe, whether it's in downtown, like here at St. Mary's, or even parks outside of downtown. So first, we're here at St. Mary's Park, and as you can tell, we got a nice park area, got a band show over there. We'll get a better view shortly. And also a play area, some tennis courts, even a bocce ball court. As you can tell, yeah, the park's right along the River Raisin. Wanted to do this little river walk right here, but unfortunately it's closed for the season. But during the warmer months, it's really nice to walk around the, or along the River Raisin. West of Monroe lies Munson Park, where you can play softball, tennis, and soccer, as well as even go sledding at the Sledding Hill. Located a few miles northeast of Monroe, Sterling State Park offers great hiking trails, fishing opportunities, a boat launch, and a beach along Lake Erie. But yeah, it's been quite a while since I've been to this park, probably about a good several years. I, I even filmed a video on Sterling State Park, I think it was back in 2011, I believe. It was my very first camera with terrible quality, but Feel free to check it out. I'll post. I'll put a link in the video description. I basically check out Lake Erie in like the fall, and then even go out a little bit on one of the trails. So, so yeah. Anyway, yeah, feel free to check that out. Although the quality is pretty bad, with, as it was with my very first camera, which did not have HD quality. <laughs> oh well. But yeah, I've really been enjoying my visit here to Monroe today. Got to see so many cool sites, parks, a lot of great history. And even a couple of the headquarters all throughout the area too, like Lazy Boy and the, uh, oh, well, many others too. All right, let's go back into downtown. There's about another few miles that way. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up. For more Scamma 95 trail videos, definitely click that subscribe button. Uh, thank you for watching today's video here in Monroe, Michigan. This is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out from the River Raisin.